Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's a new year, and people are always asking me, how many six stars do you have? How many five stars do you have? Well, in this video, we're going to go over my roster, and we're going to answer those questions. You'll see how many of every champion that I have at every tier. Okay, so let's go ahead over to the champions tab. And we're going to start with the six stars. And I'm going to sort them by rank. All right. So you can see across the top here, Wasp and Corvus are my only rank threes currently. All right. Uh, we got Guillotine, Omega Red, Ghost. They are my rank twos. And then, of course, everyone else is still at rank one. And it's not a bad six-star roster. Uh, I am at the point now where I want to focus my attention more on the six-star roster. But as you saw, I've got a pretty nice six-star roster, okay? Um, not all the champions in here are useful, but Ghost and Corvus, Wasp, Guillotine, Omega Red, definitely some good champions there. Elsa and Black Widow Clairvoyant, very, very nice. So can't complain, can't complain about my six stars, but I do want to awaken them to help my prestige. So Wasp and Corvus, uh, if I get a tech uh, tier five class catalyst, Ghost will go up. Uh, I have a Mystic uh, Awakening Gem, so if I get Doom, I can awaken him. All right. So let's go ahead now and go to the five stars. And I believe it should, yeah, still going to save the sort order. All right. So here are my five stars sorted by rank. Uh, so you can see my maxed out five uh, stars here. Two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, so four, three, two, four, five, about 35. I don't know if I did that math right, uh, but all of the statistics will be off to the right. But uh, that's how many maxed out five stars I have. And then you can look around here. And if you watch the last video, you know that I achieved my goal and I have all of my five stars at rank three and above. All right. So look at the statistics off to the side uh, and that'll tell you how many champions I have total at the five star level uh, and all their rankings. Uh, and of course, rank one and two, there are none finally. All right, so ending 2020, finally achieved my goal that I've been working on for quite some time. I, I want to say it's been a year that I've been working on that. All right, and you can see here. All right, and there we go. So let's go ahead and look at the four stars. Now, for the four stars, and I do still rank them up, and now that I have everyone at rank three as a five star, I'm going to rank up some four stars uh, once again. And right now, I have quite a few. You'll see it off to the side. Um, four stars at rank uh, five. I have all of the four stars available except for two trophy champions, Thanos and the Red Deadpool. But I have all of the other four stars. As soon as a four star comes out, I grab it every time. Got to catch them all. All right. So all four stars. And I will most likely rank up uh, some of these like, you know, Immortal Abomination. I'll probably uh, rank him up eventually. Uh, Immortal Hulk. I'll rank him up eventually. Um, of course, Spider-Ham. I'm going to rank him up. Uh, I'd like to awaken him though, uh, just for fun. I have the five star 
as you saw. So, um, but still, it's fun. Get them up there. All right, so you can see here, only two. Deadpool, Thanos. Got all the other four stars. All right, let's go to the three stars here. And it's a similar situation with the three stars. Now, in this case, uh, I believe all of my three stars are maxed, but uh, I can't remember. I might have uh, kept from leveling up one of the three stars that I was holding in reserve. I can't remember. Let's see. But I usually rank these guys up during a level up if I don't have anyone else uh, that I want to rank up and I need to hit that second to last milestone. I'll do that. But uh, we'll also see. Okay, there we go. Yep. So got them all. Everybody is maxed. Only Deadpool. Am I missing? And you better believe if they come out with another Deadpool arena, I'm going to do my best to uh, get in there and, and pick him up. Just, just for a collector, you know? All right. Now, two stars. And there are a lot of two stars I don't have. And I know there's still some. I have some mutants that I have not ranked up. So they are still um, rank one, level one, I believe. And during some level up, if there's a mutant advancement, I'll take them up. Or if I just need the points to get those units. All right, so... That's it. We've got Namor, Nightcrawler, and Cyclops uh, that are not awakened, not uh, ranked up. Uh, as soon as there's a mutant advancement with a level up or I need the points to get the units, they will get ranked up. So check a look at all the two stars I don't have. Okay. That two-star Corvus, wouldn't mind getting him. Two-star Doom, wouldn't mind getting him. Ooh, little Dragon Man. All right. Yeah, so lots and lots, as you see, uh, two stars I don't have. So when there's a crystal that comes around for two stars, exclusives, and that sort of thing, I grab them because I'm excited. I would love to get these guys. Okay? I'm a, I'm a big collector. All right? And what did I click? Finally, the one stars. And only Deadpool. Am I missing? Got all of the one stars. Now, at one point in time, I know I sold uh, a champion. I don't remember which one it was. Uh, one of my one stars, maybe two of them, in order to get the shards to get a uh, two star crystal. But I do not recommend it. Never, ever sell your champions. And I was so sorry. Well, now I've got them all back. Um, and it's not so easy if you sold them all. Uh, Kabam recently came out with a variant that uh, required you to use your one-star champions. You don't know whether they're going to do that again. You don't know whether uh, more content is coming where you're going to utilize your one, two, three-star champions. And you kind of hurt your progression. If you are a free-to-play player, especially, don't do it especially don't do it because every time you're duping champions you're getting shards for the next tier champion so you saw that i had all of my four stars and three stars every time i get a three star it's going to be a dupe every time i get a four star it's going to be a dupe so every four star i get is five star shards for me and it's getting close to that with the five stars most likely it's going to be a dupe and I'll get six star shards. So build your roster. Take your time. Don't sneer at any champion. If they're in the arena and you have the ability to pick them up, even if you're not going to use them, grab them. They're great for arena fodder and building up your roster so that when you dupe that same one in a crystal, you'll get shards for the next level. Except for the six stars. Hopefully... Uh, we'll get shards uh, when they come out with a seven star. But that's going to do it, guys. At the end of 2020, this is what my roster looks like. 
I got all of my five stars to rank three, which was a big, big goal of mine. Very, very happy to do that. Uh, and I'm going to just keep grabbing new champions uh, just because I like to collect. So next year, whatever the new champions are going to be, I'll take a look at them. Probably we'll try to pick them up uh, for collectors or maybe I'll just skip on some of them. And I'm so sorry I skipped on Cosmic Ghost Rider. He is easily the best champion of 2020 that they released. And I want him. Uh, Apocalypse also is a champion that I want. Uh, more for the synergies and the ability to create horsemen. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Maybe in uh, 2021. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Uh, click like. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. Hopefully everyone is having a happy new year and you didn't overdo it last night. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, take care and you all have a blessed day.